The upcoming spring session graduate course on transcriptomic data analysis will start January 2020. In this course, we will explore how gene expression can be studied using high-throughput sequencing data by leveraging principles of bioinformatics. The course will cover essential steps of processing, analysis, and interpretation of such data using commercial solutions for high-performance computing, such as T-BioInfo, and open-source applications, such as R. The year 2020 marks a 70-year mark since the discovery of the structure and function of the DNA molecule. It took almost 50 years from that time to sequence the first human genome. But soon after, the technology developed started to evolve rapidly. By 2015, the 1000 Genome Project brought a significant number of whole genome sequences to the research community. And in 2018, over 100,000 whole genomes were sequenced. Today, there is an ever-increasing number of genomic, transcriptomic, proteomic, and metagenomic datasets available to describe subcellular processes with highly detailed digital data. The omics technologies are used to explore the roles, relationships, and actions of the various types of molecules that make up the cells of an organism. Many types of omics data can be generated using NGS, or what is also known as high-throughput sequencing. The data can show detailed information about genomic variants, epigenomic regulation, as well as gene and isoform expression. In this program, we will focus on one type of this data, transcriptomics. The program will cover analysis of gene expression data with practical sessions and online tutorials. Anyone with a basic knowledge of cell and molecular biology will be able to conceptually understand, as well as practically apply standard data analysis tools to process, analyze, and interpret complex transcriptomic data. We will do so by leveraging regular online webinars, practical exercises, and online courses. These resources provide a broad and yet detailed overview of processing, statistical analysis, machine learning tools, and single-cell data analysis techniques. The courses cover methods, expand on various terminologies, provide practical examples, and offer quizzes for self-evaluation. Starting on January 30th, we will start discussing the various aspects of RNA-seq data analysis and how this field of bioinformatics continues to evolve. This technique has been refined over the years and now is regularly used by many scientists to perform in-depth analysis of gene and isoform expression data. In addition to online courses, all participants will get access to hands-on exercises and data sets for practice. These can be completed without any coding using the analytical T-BioInfo platform that provides an interactive learning experience. A major topic of analysis of transcriptomic data is statistical analysis, which is used for identification of differentially expressed genes and isoforms. A number of statistical tests allow us to compare groups of samples under different conditions, but a variety of considerations around data preparation, normalization, and adjustments are going to be important for these tests to be applied properly. The online session will supplement information covered in the Transcriptomics 1 and Transcriptomics 2 modules available online. But the data offers more insight than one can find in standard techniques. Exploring data and understanding its statistical properties can help us spot technical variation that can have unwanted effects on our analysis. Some of the techniques we will learn to apply are easy to use and can be done in Excel, or any type of table manipulation software. Others require a basic understanding of R libraries and how to deploy those in R Studio. Oftentimes, statistical tests do not capture the granularity of expression data in a given data set. To learn about methods that can handle complexity that is typical for large omics data sets, we will have to learn about additional methods of dimensionality reduction, data mining, and classification. As a result, we can study genes how they describe samples in our data set, and how this correlates with phenotypic information we have for biological or even clinical interpretation. In this course, we will also learn about other methods, including various approaches to clustering and network analysis that can be used to mine rich transcriptomic data for meaningful patterns and use them to classify new data. For example, a defined pattern of expression can be linked to other players in a regulatory network affected by a condition. We will also learn about the impact of feature selection on interpretation of a condition sampled from various data sets. But ultimately, we try to connect the data with biology. How can these genes, isoforms, or their expression levels help explain the mechanism of action, 
explain the process of deregulation of a vital cellular pathway or provide an indication that a gene or protein can be considered as a target for a drug. Here, we will learn about various databases that are used to annotate our data and link it to functional properties found in gene ontologies and pathways. In this course, we will learn to utilize gene set enrichment analysis to find pathways or gene sets enriched with up or down regulated genes of interest. Learning bioinformatics involves the understanding of various environments that make dealing with data possible. After the program, we will include an optional part where you can learn about single cell transcriptomics. We welcome you to join us for this exciting course. Register today and share this information with friends and colleagues.